Today we are going to apply scale factor on Google Maps. The first thing you need to do is log into your Gmail account. If you see your icon here, that means you are already logged in. Next, you are going to go to these dots and go to Maps. Then you are going to click Menu, Your Places, Maps, and Create Map. This brings you to a map of the United States. We want to zoom in to Rutherford. We can either use the zoom button or what's easier is putting Rutherford into the search bar. Comes right up and here we are. Okay, now we can zoom in using the plus sign and we can drag to see where we wanna go. Now you're able to see the streets. The first thing you are going to do is create five locations. You are going to do this by either finding the locations using the zoom and drag or you can search them. So for example, I'm going to find Union School. And here it is. I want to place a marker here. So I click add marker and put it here. So let's label that Union School. You need a description. And you are also going to include an image and a link. Okay? So you are going to do that four more times. If I go over here, I already have my five locations. Union Middle School, Rutherford Train Station, Village Gourmet, Rutherford Library, and Wallfield. If I click on them, you can see my description, my image, and the link. So you are going to do the same. The next thing I want you to do is add shapes. I'm going to zoom out a little bit, zoom back in so you can see my shapes or my locations. To make shapes, you're going to click draw a line and you're going to connect your points. It is up to you how you want to connect your points, but connect them in some type of way that you are able to label them and it's going to be important to you. So I already did this. I have two shapes. I have Rutherford locations, which connected all my points, and then student locations, which connected the points that will be useful for students. The next thing you're going to do is measure between the points and the shapes using this tool. So you're just going to click between points, and you're also going to connect your shapes like so. I would like you to write down all of those measure measurements for later use. Once you have completed that, you are going to plug the measurements into the formula where we have map over actual. Okay, so my first example is just connecting points A and B. So when I use the measurement tool, I got 0.945 miles. I plug that in and I want to see the distance on the map, which we have as X here. So you're going to cross multiply 2 times 0.945 and then divide by 0.189394. Okay, you can use a calculator for this. Once I cross multiply and divide using my calculator, I got that x equals 9.98 centimeters, which is rounded to the nearest hundredth. Okay, here are two more examples. Example 2 shows the distance on the map between my all my locations and example three shows the distance between my student locations. Once you have done that, I would like you to go back to your map and I want you to add in driving directions. So you're going to click this and add driving route. You are going to connect all your points. So it should look something like I have here. All of my points are connected. You also are going to do that with bike directions because a lot of students drive around town using their bikes. So again, I have bike directions here connecting all my points. Once you have done this, you have completed your maps assignment. Now share it with a partner so you and your partner can check each other's work. If you have any questions, please let me know.